Hello Trader! Welcome to the Ninja Trader tutorial and the first module introduction to Ninja Trader. In this lesson we're going to learn how to create a workspace on Ninja Trader, how to um, save it and how to modify it. So we're going to go to uh, the control center on the Ninja Trader platform and uh, the first thing we need to do is we need to open a new uh, chart and uh, we're going to choose uh, the file tab and then new and of course chart now once you get here you have to choose the data series that you want for your chart uh, you can see that the default um, uh, futures contract are not the ones that we are trading right now because they are from 2014 uh, what and uh, what we're going to do is we're going to click on the three on the three dotted points right here and uh, we are going to manually choose the futures contract that we want uh, to trade and of course we're going to start by the ES the ES is the mini S&P 500 contract and uh, the, by doing this it will choose the correct expiration uh, for this month which is uh, the uh, September expiry then we click on new and uh, right here you can choose the type of period and of course we are going to use a minute chart and uh, that this is a 240 uh, minute chart which is a 4 hour chart and uh, what we want is a 50 minute chart okay um, the right here is um, uh, all perfect and uh, we just click OK now we are waiting for the data uh, series to load and uh, while it loads we are going to do the exact same thing for three other charts okay now right here we have the ES uh, uh, contract already loaded and uh, uh, let's say that uh, we trade uh, w well we take trade on a daily basis uh, the e mini s p 500 the dow which is the ym okay uh, mini size dow okay we have a 240 minute we want our 50 minute chart and uh, let's say that we also trade uh, gold and crude, okay? So we are going to do the same for uh, CL, which is crude light sweet oil. Uh, crude uh, Light sweet crude oil, I'm sorry. And um, of course, we are going to uh, look at the 50 minute chart and uh, we are going to do the same for gold. Now, this is what we want. We want a four chart workspace. So this is what we're doing, and uh, let's just uh, choose the con uh, the correct contract for gold, okay, and a 50-minute chart. Now you can see that we have the ES, uh, we have uh, the, um, this is the gold chart, okay, we have the ES, we have uh, the gold chart, here we have the crude oil 50-minute chart, uh, which we decide to put on right here and uh, let's say that the YM is the chart that we are going to use on this tight little space um, on the bottom right okay now this is the worst picks that, that we want to work with okay and every time uh, let's say that every time that we want to we want the uh, uh, that uh, we open our Ninja Trader. We want this workspace to pop in. So what we're going to do here, we're going to go to uh, the Control Center. We're going to File Workspace, and we are going to save Workspace as. I already have uh, three workspaces saved, and uh, this is a four chart uh, workspace. So let's call this a four chart Invest2 workspace. Okay. Now my workspace is saved and I'm going to show you uh, why, uh, how can you also save the work that you do on your charts by saving the workspace. Let's say that uh, I'm just going to draw a couple of horizontal lines here on, uh, on crude oil. Uh, support, resistance, we are trading inside this range, this is the YM. This by by uh, by no means is a uh, strategy video this is just to show you uh, how you are going to be able to 
save the workspace once you start um, actually trading on your charts now you can see that I um, that I have a lot of different uh, horizontal lines and uh, let's grab on some Fibonacci levels for the YM2 so you can see that it also works uh, with the indicators so we have a Fibonacci retracement level right here and uh, let's say that you use on the um, on the um, the Bollinger Bands on crude oil so this is the workspace that we that we want to uh, to save. You just go to Control Center, okay, Workspace, and save workspace. Now, because this is the workspace that uh, is uh, is chosen by you right now, you can see we have a four chart invest to chosen. Uh, if you close your um, Ninja Trader platform and reopen it. Uh, not only the workspace that uh, you chose last will pop up, but if you save the workspace, uh, all of your levels and all of your indicators will be saved with it. So let me demonstrate this for you. You just click on here and uh, you have one. You will always get this warning. You just click yes. And when you have this save workspace uh, pop up, you click yes to all. Okay, so I close the... Uh, Ninja Trader platform and I uh, reopened it on with uh, a uh, another workspace as you can see this is an old workspace all of these contracts have already expired we have no market data for them and uh, what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to uh, go to file workspace and choose the workspace that we are working with with it which is the four chart invest workspace and you are going to see that all of my work and all of my uh, uh, horizontal lines have been saved so this is how you um, create a workspace and uh, save your work with it